So uh, first, but I was in Amsterdam, and I moved here to uh, Friesland. And I saw the river, and it was really nice, the river, and then we were crossing the bridge, it was wonderful. Because we did that in the daytime, I could see the environment around me, so it was really wonderful and really beautiful at the same time. I saw sheeps. <laughs> I was like, Dad, what is that? And because I had bad eyesight, and I thought, Dad, what is that? It's moving. The white, fluffy stuff are moving. And Dad's like, they're sheep. So I was like, cool. <laughs> well, it's, it's very hard at, at the same time, but a lot of wonderful moments at the same time as well. I love to, I love to sing. I love to perform in front of my fans. It's. It's an unforgettable moment every time I perform on stage and I just love to interact with my fans and have a good time. So, yeah, it's actually a very blessing for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's also hard work. Uh, yes, it's very hard work. By training and just singing and dancing and practicing that is pretty hard, but other than that, it's really nice. And you're only 17, so... Yes, I'm only 17, but I've been doing this for six years. <laughs> so it must be really a dream that you want to do this. Yes, I always, it was always my dream to sing and perform in front of people, so I'm really happy that I could do that. Um, I think the different sound of K-pop, because it has more beat, more trap, and it has uh, performances with it. You dance and sing at the same time, mm -hmm. and I think that's the biggest charm of K-pop. And it's getting bigger and bigger in Europe right now, and I'm really excited of that, because not so long ago, no, yeah, not so long ago, I, I went to Berlin to have a small performance, a big performance, yeah, <laughs> and then it was, it, was, it was pretty big. And then a long time ago, I went to Paris and I had a concert as there. I had a concert there as well. So I'm just very excited to come to Europe and perform in front of my European fans as well. So I'm really excited that it's getting bigger and bigger. Nope. It's my second time. I was here at 2012 before I started singing and dancing. So it's been like six years now. So I'm so really. Three months. Yes, I, I was here last time as well. Oh. So I'm really excited to come back. It feels like home. Yeah. Really welcoming, yeah. Mm. Um, the cheese, the bit of all. And um, I don't know. It just feels like home as soon as I just landed in the Netherlands and I don't know is it the smell or the people or anything I don't know it just feels so welcoming and it feels like home so I'm really happy about that <laughs> really oh, yes I do I do my my uh, my heritage yes I have that heritage so I'm really proud of that as yeah. well mm -hmm. yeah. and your Frisian heritage where does it come from yeah where? I have a lot of athlete ancestors they all do exercising, they all are like sport masters, and they're the best. So I thought it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why my dad and I are very active and very good at athletes. Yeah, you think that's a Frisian thing? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why does it make you think like that? Because my grandpa was the best diver. Okay. And maybe that's why my dad's very good at swimming, and maybe that's why I'm good at swimming as well. So I don't know, I think that's a Frisian thing that's, that makes you very active mm -hmm. at sports. I'm really proud of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your grandfather was Frisian? Yes. And he went to Canada, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where was he from? He Frisian? was from... I know the street name. Oh! <laughs> uh, I know the street name, but I don't... Well, what's the part? Heading Vane. Ah, yes, Heading Vane. Heading Vane. And... Compagnon Strat. Strat. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> I know the street name, I forgot the name, but yeah, he, was, he was from there. And in 2012, I actually visited his old house, and it was really nice to be in my, grandpa, you know, my grandfather's old house. Mm. I was really happy to be there. Mm -hmm. And is he still alive? Or? Yes, he's still alive. He's not dead. <laughs> Actually, I made it handmade for this trip. It's, it has a Frisian flag on it. I know it's very beautiful. <laughs> uh, special made and it has my name on it and my sister's name. Here, it's Anique and Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Anique is my name. 
And so it's, it's a pretty bag and it's, it's orange inside. Oh, it has my stuff in it. It's like, oh, what's in my bag tour? But anyways, um, yeah, it has, it has orange inside and it's really nice. And I, yeah, I, I made it special handmade. And your dad has one too. Yeah, my dad has one too. It's a different design, but it's pretty cool. I'll show you my dad's. And this is my dad's. Oh, these are not for sale, <laughs> but <laughs> custom, made. And custom made, and it has the Netherlands on top. And it's pretty big and good, and it, it's really nice. So a lot of people checked my bag out, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> special made. <laughs> oh, she loves it as well. And she's very proud that I have three nationalities and I have a Dutch heritage as well. So she's really, uh, she's really proud of me as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you combine all those nationalities? Um, in a pocket with my passports. I, <laughs> yeah, but um, you really have three passports. Yes, I have three passports. Okay. That, that's pretty cool. Mm. So I'm like, mm, should I use this one? Should I use that one? And <laughs> look at the expired time. And oh, I should use this one. Then I use that one. And it's it's really nice to have three nationalities at once because it's very special and. It's really hard to have, you can't have three passports or nationalities because you want them. So I think it's a very blessing for me. And I love to be a little bit different. And I think I have three personalities with oh, really? me. Yes, I do. One, like, I have some Dutch part of me and I have some Canadian parts of me and some Korean parts of me. And then, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So what's the Korean part of you? Korean part is sometimes I get really realistic and a little bit strict sometimes. <laughs> yes, it, it's everything's very calculated, like that, 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 that. I have to do this, I have to do that. That's the Korean part of me. And the Canadian part of me is like, hey, well, let's have some fun. Just go with the flow. And then the Dutch part of me is I love bit of ball. <laughs> and got a cheese. I love it. How uh, Older the better. Mm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes. <laughs> and the Frisian part? Is there something? Frisian part, I'm really good at exercising. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually did Taekwondo, which is a Korean sport. And I was really good with that. I did it for eight years. And I love exercising. So I think that's a Frisian part of me. Uh, tomorrow we have a lot of activities. Today, uh, tomorrow we are riding the canals, and I'm really, really excited about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, um, I love Albert Ein. Yeah. Albert Hein. Oh, okay. I love <laughs> Albert Hein. Yes, the supermarket. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> we don't have those supermarkets in Korea. Oh, we have supermarkets in Korea, but, <laughs> not, but, but not Albert Ein. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what I like about uh, the Netherlands as well. Yeah.